Hey guys, in this video, I'm showing you how you can get this iconic look on your YouTube thumbnails. This process is quick and easy when you do it in Photoshop and you can use it to really make your YouTube thumbnails pop and stand out from the crowd. My name is Brie and I'm here to help you crush your course launch, create an amazing online program and create consistent monthly income in your business. So if those are goals you want to hit, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every Friday when a new video goes live. But without further ado, let's dive right into Photoshop. Open up Photoshop and then you can open up the photo that you want to create the outline for. So I'm going to use this one to create this thumbnail for this video. So we're going to end up using the magic select tool in order to select the figure that we want to outline. So this will select the edges of your subject pretty well, but it isn't perfect. So in order to fix up those edges and those sections that we don't quite get right, we're going to use the lasso tool to fix that up. So I'm going to click on the lasso and then hold the option button and click in order to remove bits of the selection or hold the shift button to select and add. So this section of the chair I want to get rid of. So I'm going to hold option and draw a selection around that to remove that from my selection. So that's removed. And now I just want to go around the edges of my subject and make sure that my edges look clean and they are covering everything that I want in the selection. So I'm just going along and cleaning up bits of the hair that are a bit lumpy or bits of the hair that are missing or anything that is selected that shouldn't be if you get pieces of the background in there. You're holding down the option key and clicking in order to remove bits and holding down the shift key and clicking in order to add. So I'm happy with that now. And then the next step is to right click and select and mask. And this is going to allow you to take a closer look at your selection. You can smooth out the edges to make that just a little nicer looking so it's less jagged. You can play around with the feathering tool as well, which will also help soften those edges. I usually leave this at zero and put the smoothing up just a little bit. But once you're happy with your selection, you want to go and output to a new layer. Once you do that, Photoshop creates a new layer with just that selection that you made. So now we can add the outline. So click to add an effect and then you want to select stroke. So once you open up the stroke menu, then you can choose the color. So you can choose any color you want here, but I'm going to go with the classic YouTube white and then you can choose the size, how thick you want the outline to be. I generally set mine around 15 pixels. That's what works for the style of my channel. So that's what I'm going to go with here. But once you're happy with this, click OK, and then you've got your figure outlined. So that is basically it. It's pretty quick and pretty simple. So you can use this to create your thumbnails and any other creatives for your business. All right, guys, that is it for this video. But if you've been thinking about adding another income stream to your business by teaching what you know in an online course, I can help. I'm hosting a free exclusive training called Course Idea to Consistent Profit. In this training, you'll learn my simple step-by-step -step process for creating, launching, and scaling your online course-based business without relying on a huge audience and without paid ads. So click the link in the description below. It is completely free and I'm sharing some of my best tips and tricks in this training. There has literally never been a better time to create an online course and I want to help you make that a reality. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and hit subscribe and share it with a coach or creator who could also benefit. Now, if you're ready to take your course-based business to the next level, check out these videos next.